So this one is the beginning, which is old, which is sticking out officially, just like this. So we slip that area, and then the other one is sticking out as well. So maybe custom apartment, this is solution. All right, it's five implants, one sleeve. Yeah, and the these two going out of facial. So we're doing custom abutments on all of the five. So is that not engaging? Yeah, these ones are well not engaging because they're the trilobe uh, hex. Well, we can't mill hex in the cellar, so see that one? These ones are the Strom and RB. We'll mill those hex. They're all inside of the setup right now. We're going to do not for metal frame on top of these. And then the zirconia crowns. So right now I'm just making sure these are all inside of the setup. Making sure that we have room, spatial angle kind of everywhere for us to. Let me see tissue contour. Okay. Yeah. With the tissue. Yeah. Right. And also, we have to make sure put parallel. Yeah. Right now, I got them all all parallel. So we're going to make the, the margin around all of them. The wax top of that. Cool. And just a lot of them. So that ones we're going to sleep to. So after we block it out. Just five implants. Just a long span. Now we're going to do milling. So after finish the apartment, we measure the size of the PMMA with the body, and apply the, the wax. After we finish the waxing, we All take right. it out from the model. Oh, this is what looked like the final outcome, just like. This is what looked like. Now we're trying to cut it back. Mm -hmm. That one? Okay. Right. So after we cut it back, the, the frame design is more thin. And regular, like here. I need more room, about three millimeter easily. Same thing, the other side. You can trim it, and then I have to I take it out and just more reduce the panics for hygiene. I can show you the later so after we finish the old wax design. Okay. So after I cut it back just like six, seven, eight and tail reason exactly the same things. So now I check the now we're going to check the occlusion. I think here is a little more bad, so I'm going grinding. And then take it out. I'm trying to eliminate the underneath parting as high as close high as, as much possible here too. Now the frame, so we're going to top of the frame. So we're going to cement that one. And then after casting is modified. And then we scan and design on top of the remaining zirconia restorations. Still, we have a, we have a, uh, I need a more retention down, so then, I'm not 
blocking, so a little bit more plain. And then you can cover with the implant site, which is those area, covering. The whole scenario cover a little bit here too. Okay, that area. Well, in order to avoid any uh, minimum contact, it's just like trying to make them make the good flat underneath pony contact. So that's why I trim just a little, little bit. So then. I have to eliminate this. Alright, so we're going to weld the here. So I don't like the bumpy. So I make the smooth and even except here. Alright, this is implant. Old implants. I'm going to add a little bit more with the weldering. Okay, I'm trying to cut here more. So anyway, the tissue modify a little bit. I think they forgot. Just make just a little bit. So make the better. Underneath contact. So then I do not have any bumpy metal underneath. Even though I polish it, I don't like that. I'm trying to clean it up as much as possible. And also this one. I'm trying to cut it here. Just one minute, and then I grind it here. So I decrease the antique size so I don't get any much. I mean, trying to get better underneath. Anyway, I will cut it more, so I can stay tuned. First, we custom made it with a verified model and then just make sure the passover insertion is not engaging. The engaging abutment. On top of that, you see the our wax up. Maybe castings. Now, I'm going to make the old metal pontic, so we're going to polish it. So also made the ore good pressure and the metal linger we're going to polish soon now we're going to do right after this is opaque and scan and design so try to make the the zirconia has made the pretty as much as possible so we cover all the implant not going to use it everything's covered well okay so this is the another procedure for that So this one is the beginning, which is old bridge is sticking out the facially just like this. So we slip that area and then the other one is sticking out as well. So made the custom abutment, this is solution. I bring it in. Still though has a lot of uh, sticking out the facially. So we did the underneath we slip those area okay and then two area which is K9 so doctor will go into using the temp cement after he took in that one so my job I'm trying to give them as aesthetic as possible right and 
use a bow unit for strength. Here's this four. Here's another four unit. Here's a one unit. I'm going to cement this all five implant together so we one unit except two. So doctor we're going to put the um, temp cement for that. Okay, this one is Dr. Vargas instructions. Said exactly copy. Temp implant. So fabricated the four seven star cases and two temporary so which is we give them a little bit indentation between the tools. Too. So he can take it out in and out after this. It's very sensitive cases. So otherwise we polish everything. This is the finals. So make the, the better aesthetic as possible. And then change the tissue color. It's more lifelike most of the things. Here is mounting. And check the occlusion contact. So that was the final case though. Beautiful. It takes is over one year because the patient wants exactly very specific size of the tools. But this is starting a long time ago we did it. And here is the cementation between the tools.